In this video, I muck around and make some form of sub-assemblies for this primary librarian that I'm going to kitbash into my death watch. Alright, let's get this guy open and take a look at these sprues again. So at this point in my painting career, this is the most detailed, the most complicated model I have. And the building on this thing is just weird. So I'm gonna start with the legs, I'm gonna get these guys cleaned up. So the front half of this guy is divided into two pieces and they want me to put the legs into one piece and then put the other piece on top of that and then put the back on. I prefer painting in sub-assemblies. I find it just to be much easier. And I don't think my usual methods are gonna work on this guy because I'd like to have the body together and then maybe the legs and paint them separate. So I'm gonna just kind of mess around here and try to figure out how to put these legs on. And I'm gonna end up pulling out some sticky tack just to hold them together so that I can get a better idea of what's going on. So I'm just taking little tiny bits of sticky tack, sticking them in where the joints go, and then I'm gonna start kind of piecing this guy together. So, trying to fiddle with this other front piece, and I don't think I'm going to be able to glue the front pieces together and then put the legs in. I think I gotta glue the legs in first and then put the front pieces together, and then I'm certainly not gonna be able to glue the back piece on. So I think I got some sticky tack and I put the front pieces together, and I think I'm gonna use some more sticky tack and try to get the front and the back together, and just hold them together with sticky tack and prime them that way and then have the feet on a different assembly so I can paint them separate and then put them into the body and then paint the body. Because I think if I put the feet in now, it's gonna be so hard to edge highlight it. Here's one piece I actually can glue in, this little back flap. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that in now and then mess around more with the sub assemblies. All right, with that glued in, so I'm gonna sticky tack the front together and then the front to the back. And now I gotta figure out how to put this on a sub-assembly, but I got an idea. I think with this paper clip and some sticky tack, I can make this work. And uh, yeah, that seems good. So I'm gonna clip off this end and get it into a piece of cork. Now remember, this is not glued together. This is sticky tack together, but I can prime it like one piece and then pull it apart to make the painting easier and then glue it together. All right, so I got my feet, or my legs, keeping all the feet, their legs, and these guys I'm gonna pin. So I'm gonna start a pilot hole with the sharp tip of my hobby knife. And then I'm gonna grab my pin vise I'm gonna drill holes in both of these guys, and I'm gonna super glue some paper clips in, um, because eventually I do wanna make a bit more of a scenic base than I have been, and I wanna be able to pin this guy into the base, because if I glue him to the base, then um, I won't be able to make the scenic aspect of it. Uh, while I'm doing this, I'm also gonna pin the head, which is my normal practice. So I wanna be careful not to use too much super glue in the head, because I wanna be able to break this off of the pin when I insert it. When it comes to the legs, I don't care because these pins are staying in. I'm gonna clip them shorter and then I'm gonna use the you know, the other end of the pin to insert down into the base. So we want these to be nice and secure. I'm gonna set these aside and let them dry for a bit before I push them into a piece of cork. This is the easiest piece in the whole sprue because it's all one piece of the whole arm into the four sword. So I'm gonna trim this guy up and now I have to finally figure out if I'm gonna be able to put standard size pads on these or if I have to use the terminator pads. So here's my death grade upgrade sprue. 
and we're just gonna see if I can put this arm into a regular pad. And it turns out, I can. Yeah, it is definitely way too small for a Terminator pad. This is Tacticus armor, this is not Gravis armor. So this means that I can put a molded pad on this from the Death Watch Kill Team sprue. And I think I'm gonna do that. I think we're gonna make him a Dark Angel. Even though the Librarian pad is really cool, in order to have them match thematically with the rest of the uh, kill team, we're gonna go with the molded pads that we've been using on everybody. So, pretty happy about this. And that means we can put a regular Death Watch pad on the other arm. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the other arm together and put a regular Death Watch pad on it. And there we go. Super glue is dry on the pins, on the legs. So I'm just gonna shove them in this piece of cork. I'll put them in the same piece of cork. Um, if I need to move them around when I'm painting, I can do that, but there we go. All right, time for backpack. Uh, I pulled up my file on this because there's some rounded surfaces that are hard to clean up with the hobby knife. So, pulled out a file. You can see there's a bundle of purity seals down there. Uh, that is actually supposed to go on the domish part. So I'm just gonna get out some plastic glue and I'm gonna apply that now. So I don't pin the backpack and the arms, I just use sticky tack to stick them to paper clips. There we go. All right, so there's this little crest thing that goes on top of the psychic hood. And I think I can put a little plastic glue in the groove and use my tweezers here. And I'm not gonna try to videotape this because it's way too fiddly. But here you go. That is now in and that should hold very well. There's a few more bits here, there's these cables that go around the shoulders and then these purity seals on the cloak, but all of them need to be glued in after assembly and my stuff isn't assembled yet. So I think I'm just gonna grab my clippers and cut out this chunk of sprue and I think I'm gonna prime them right on the sprue and I'll probably even paint some of it right on the sprue and then when I get to the point in the project where I've glued enough stuff together, I'll glue these on too. Here's what we got. So I think the plan is do all the edge highlighting on the legs first and then paint like inner cloaks and then get the legs into the cloak and I should be able to safely work on the outside of the model at that point. We'll see how it actually works out. Well that is how I have been hobbying lately. If you want to let me know how you've been hobbying lately down in the comments below, I would love to check it out.